Another interesting story that is currently emerging not from India but from Neuralink in the US where first human patient who was implanted with a brain chip seemed to have recovered and not just recovered, he is now able to control a computer mouse using just their thoughts. So the, the person is now operating and is make, able to make that brain chip operational. What a revolution, Krishna. It means so much. You know, just this morning, I remember having a discussion in the newsroom. This literally means that very soon, if this were to be implemented on a large scale, we'll be able to communicate without actually picking up the phone. Well, you know, I, I, I can understand your enthusiasm. I can feel, <laughs> you know, your, your, your exuberance while wanting to talk about this piece of news. And it's fascinating, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. Ever since the Neuralink hit headlines, it has fascinated just about everybody. But I'm just, you know, just being the devil's advocate over here. Isn't it a teeny tiny little bit scary? Very this scary. technology, you know, because the way humans are already evolving with mm -hmm. technology around them, mm. you know, it's scaring us in terms of our own attention spans, our own ability to interact with other human beings being mm. impeded by the availability of so much technology. Mm. Now there's technology inside of the human <laughs> being. I, you know, I'm going to just going to take a breather over here as far as Neuralink is concerned. I'm sure it has great capabilities and, and, and you know, it's the same thing. How much do you mess with God's creation? How much do you mess with nature? You know, to where do you draw the line? Okay. I mean, despite the greatest of possibilities. I mean, even when it comes to things like cloning, mm -hmm. uh, Shweta, you know, what, what you know, human uh, you know, science, human developments in science is able to achieve. There's all these, you know, incredible developments in science Absolutely. and technology comes with that rider. How far do you want to push it? It's the same question we're asking with artificial intelligence as well, isn't it? Artificial intelligence, like the latest is Sora, where you can type in a text mm -hmm. and it creates its own video. Mm -hmm. And then people are wondering, like, hey, how many jobs is, is it going to take? So, you know, so with every advancement in technology, I don't want to be the party pooper over here, mm -hmm. but I'm just being the devil's advocate, or for that matter, God's advocate over here, not exactly the devil's advocate. What is this going to do? It's fascinating. It's got great capabilities, but we really have to hold on to our enthusiasm and okay. take it with a little bit of skepticism. Okay, a little bit of skepticism. Uh, that is what Krishna is suggesting at the <laughs> moment, but here's what Neuralink is saying. They're saying that they're excited to share the FDA's approval to launch the first inhuman clinical study. Recruitment is not open, but uh, a congratulatory note there from also Elon Musk uh, to Neuralink, which is Neuralink essentially owned by Elon Musk, yes. making a huge huge uh, a stride there as far as advancements of technology is concerned a brain chip that's now been successfully implanted in a human and that human is able to control a mouse a computer mouse yes. using just his thoughts now that is of course the tip of the iceberg as to what may just come out as far yes. as technology is concerned